ever struggled with incorrect time entries in Excel? With data validation, you can ensure only valid time are entered, preventing errors before they happen. In this video, I will guide you through setting up time validation step by step. Don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos. So here in this sheet you can see that I have the employee names and next to it is the start time. So it's mean that I wanted to enter the time in these cells but I also wanted to enter the time between 7 am to 8 pm. I don't want to add any time other than this time limit. For this purpose. I will select these cells and I will go to the data tab and here I will click on this data validation and from this I will select the time and here I will select the between from these options because I will set a minimum value as well as the maximum value. So the start time that I want to enter is 7 am and the end time is 8 pm. After setting these limits, I will go to this input message. This input message will guide the people when they will be entering any data into these cells. So for example, I write here note. The message that I want to convey is please enter time between 7 am to 8 pm. After this, I will go to this error alert and here I can set the error alert that if anyone enters wrong information, this error alert will stop them by doing this and guide them to correct the mistake. So for example, here in this error alert title, wrong information. And again, put the same message that please enter time between 7 am to 8 pm. After setting all these things, I will click on this OK button. And now you can see that a message is appearing right next to these cells that is, please enter time between 7 am to 8 pm. So now I am going to enter the time 8 am. After this, I will write 11 am and in the third cell for example I write 9 pm so as soon as I press enter this dialog box with the title wrong information and message that please enter time between 7 am to 8 pm appears I will click on this retry and now set the time to correct that is 8 pm in this way we can enter the time but the time will be in between the limits that we have set. Now that you know how to validate time in Excel, start applying to your spreadsheet today. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on notification for more Excel tutorials. Need more help? Drop your questions in the comments.